welcome Garners. My name is Penny Wright. I'm a volunteer with the Scotland's Guardian Scheme. I also volunteer for Keep Scotland Beautiful and uh, I'm a green flag judge. I've been working in the green coal industry for over 20 years and at the moment I work for SRUC in Edinburgh. Today I'm going to show you about taking semi softwood cuttings which you should be doing at this time of year. Uh, I'm going to show you on uh, Salvia officinalis which is sage which was grown over the winter um, and the rest of this year and now it's ready to plant out. Before I plant it out I'm going to take some cuttings but you can also do this um, with a plant which is in the landscape as long as uh, you do semi soft wood at this time of year. So once you've took your cutting from the outside plant or you plant what you've grown in your greenhouse, you put them directly into a plastic bag until you're ready to plant them into your pots with your growing media. When you're cutting semi soft wood cuttings, you need to use a cl clean pair of scissors or secateurs doesn't have to be sterile, but they do have to be clean. You're going to be cutting about the third node down, so that's one, two, three, and you're going to have a cutting like that. You're going to take the lower leaves off, any that you see, and also on the second node up, because this is the bit which is going to go into the growing media to grow the roots. You also need to cut the big leaves in half to reduce the transpiration. And then you also need to take off this very centre bit, the meristem, where there's a concentration of growth hormones. Once you've taken that off, it'll concentrate on producing new roots from these two nodes. <laughs> when you're cutting um, to put into the growing media, Cut directly below the node and do a straight cut. This allows the absorption of more water from the growing media than if you had a diagonal cut. So for my growing media, I'm going to be using a peat-free growing medium. You can use core and perlite or core and barb. The retail bagged products it's usually a mixture of 50-50, which I've got here, so that can be used as well. But for the demonstration today, I'm going to be using core and bark. So now we're ready to pot up our cuttings. As mentioned before, I'm going to use a core and bark 50-50 mix. I'm going to fill a one litre pot, which is a recyclable pot you can put in your roadside cycling. Um, we're going to use a dibber or just a pencil is fine. Make a hole. Make sure you put the cutting two nodes deep where you took the um, leaves from. Pop it in and firm it down. Just to go over what I said earlier, once you've took your cutting out of the plastic bag, take the lower leaves off the nodes, lost two nodes. Cut the larger leaves in half, half to stop transpiration and then you're ready to pop it in two nodes deep into the mix. We're going to put the cuttings around the edge of the pot to give them more room for root growth. Once your cuttings are potted up, you're going to place them into some water for the growing media to imbibe the water. You can also just slightly sprinkle the top with water. And then you're going to pop your plastic bag, what you use to collect your cuttings in, over the top of the pot. Like that. If it's tight enough, you can put elastic band around to hold it, but really it doesn't matter. So in effect, you're creating a little greenhouse for the pot. And then you're going to put this somewhere warm, either in a greenhouse, on a windowsill, but preferably on a heated mat. So the heat will come up from the bottom and this will encourage the new root growth. 
Ideally, the temperature should be about 18 degrees for root growth development, but the ambient temperature is going to be about 15. So for the other times of the year, spring and winter, you can do softwood cuttings in spring and hardwood cuttings in winter. This is a verbena bonantiaris, which is ideal for softwood cuttings when it's coming up in springtime. And the new growth will be like this at the bottom, although this is going to semi-hardwood because of the time of year of filming. Um, but in springtime, again, you just it treat exactly the same as I've done the salvia cuttings. You take it off the softwood, take the bottom leaves off, pop it into a bag until you finish your cuttings and then do put them in the growing media. For hardwood cuttings, you take during winter when there's no leaves on anything. And here we have an example of coinus, um, which I did over the winter. And as you can see, not everyone is successful. These ones are dead ones. So don't expect 100% propagation from your cuttings. But I've got three very nice healthy ones with a good root system. And this was just taken from last winter. So these are softwood cuttings um, of lavender I did earlier in the year. And as you can see, from just a few cuttings from one plant which was bought in, I've made 24 individual lavender plants with a good root system. Another example of hardwood cuttings is evergreen hardwood cuttings. And these are the ones I took in um, in winter last year. And as you can see, they've developed a nice little root system here. Uh, we'll pop these on into a pot and let them grow on uh, um, another year before planting them out in the garden. And this plant is a vicinium. Um, macrocarpum with the little pink berries. And don't forget, after you've done your cuttings, whether it be hardwood, softwood, semi-softwood, to lave them so you remember what they are.